everyone. So my name is Carly. I am a software engineer at Haven. And today I'm going to talk about automated screenshot testing for React Native. But first let me do a quick introduction about Haven. It's a new company. It's a healthcare company. Um, it's a joint venture between Amazon, Berkshire Hathaway, and J.P. Morgan Chase. And our mission is to transform healthcare to create better outcomes and overall experiences for patients, as well as lower patients' costs. Um, and for their families. We have offices in New York and Boston, and we are hiring for all kinds of software engineers, so if you're interested at all, um, please come and talk to me or any of my colleagues after. Okay, so now screenshot testing. Um, first, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the motivation for screenshot testing and sort of the problem that I'm aiming to solve with it, and then I'll talk actually about the implementation of it. So every website and application out there has a button. Um, you all are quite intimately familiar with these, and they're used all over the app. Uh, many different places, they have to be flexible enough to be different sizes, shapes, colors, different states. Um, they probably handle click tracking and metrics. Um, they actually can become pretty complex components. And because of that, we are all kind of in agreement that component reuse is good. We don't want to write a new button for every single time. We need to instantiate one for a few reasons. We get consistent styling across the application. We also have less code to manage and fewer bugs to track down. Um, so that's great, but it doesn't come completely for free. Let's go back to that button again. A designer might ask you to make the button a little bit wider. The default padding should be just a little bit more. Um, it's a totally reasonable request that designers make all the time. But as the number of use cases for this button goes up, the amount of manual QA that you have to do will also go up. So when you increase the padding on that button, you might need to track down dozens or even hundreds of use cases across both iOS and Android apps to make sure that you haven't broken anything, you haven't cut off any content or messed up one of the pages. So with that manual QA, the fear for making that change goes up. And you worry that maybe you've missed a case or you forgot to check one screen size or you just decide that you're not gonna do all that manual QA and you're just worried that you've broken something. So as that fear goes up, I'd argue that your team's velocity will go down. You'll spend more time doing manual QA on all of these use cases, or you might end up creating branching logic in your button because you are too nervous to change it for every single button across the website. That makes your mode code like more complex and then more difficult to manage in the long run. So just to sum up this point, um, what I'm arguing is that changing styles is a company with increased manual QA and fear, which will ultimately slow your team down and prevent you from shipping features as fast as you can um, and delivering value to your users as well as to your company. So screenshot testing can help to fix some of these problems. Let's dive into um, what that looks like. There's a company called Percy. Uh, their tagline is that they do continuous visual review for web apps. And I have no formal affiliation with Percy, but I think they have a wonderful product. Um, I've used it at previous companies, and it's been great. This is a screenshot that I just took from their marketing materials on their website. Um, and basically how Percy works is that it maintains a baseline of your application, and then as you make changes to your application, it will automatically take screenshots of your changes and compare them to the previous version and highlight in red anything that's changed. So you can really quickly see what's different on your website and decide if you intended to make that change or not. So right here, if you intended to make this change, you can go ahead and hit that approve button and uh, just move on. This is a wonderful product. I saw this, I've, I've seen this product um, like change attitudes for front-end developers at companies before and just really increase the confidence that people can uh, make changes to broadly used styling. But yeah, it's only for web apps. So then when you went over to native, um, there wasn't much you could do. You just really sat there really missing this tool and back in the old days of having to do a lot of manual QA. Um, but in this super hot 2019 update, I'm excited to tell you that it's no longer just for web apps. Um, and actually, Haven and Percy have done a little open source collaboration here. Um, we've created this uh, NPM package that's called Percy slash Appium dash WD, um, which is based on Appium, which is kind of like Selenium, a test runner um, for native apps. Quick shout out to the two main contributors on this, 
One is Thomas Houston, my colleague at Haven. He's here, so should definitely ask some more questions about this library. Um, and Robert DeLuca, he's a developer at Percy, and uh, he really took this over and got it over the finish line and, and helped us to open source it. Okay, so let's talk about what this library actually does and how it works and uh, what it looks like in practice. So I forked the Chain React app for the purposes of this talk. Um, there's actually a difference between these two images. So try to take a second and see if you can detect it. It's tricky. Okay, so if you didn't see it, or maybe if you did, the button is a little bit less wide, a little bit narrower. Um, so again, come back here. I just made the button a little bit shorter is all. And so what Percy is doing here is it's saving an image from the baseline, essentially the master branch, and then taking an image of my changes, uh, of the, how the app looks with my changes, comparing the two, and highlighting in red exactly where they're different. Um, so here you can see the two sides of the button are red because those pixels have changed. It's also interesting to note here that you can see there's some red outline on the text part of the button. Um, and that's because I changed the width of the button to be an odd number to an even number, and then the centering got shifted one pixel over. Um, so it's just an example of like something that you, you know, maybe it's not super important, but you never catch it on your own, and if you're aiming for pixel perfection, like Percy can really help you in this area. Okay, so then if I was happy with the changes, I can go ahead and hit approve, and my new image will be accepted as the baseline to compare future screenshots against. Um, and at this point, you might be thinking, like, this sounds like a lot of images to manage. This is really going to make my repository huge. Um, but Percy actually manages all of the images for you. So you don't have to worry about storing a bunch of images in your repo or figuring out which is the correct baseline to compare to. It works for Apple and for Android. So no more do you have to boot up every single 100 em emulators and all your different screen sizes and compare all these. Like, you could set up screenshot testing and all the different platforms if you like, um, and just have automated visual regression review. Okay, so this is what an actual Percy test looks like. Um, this is written in just syntax. It's using Appium in the background. Um, and what this is doing is first just booting up the iOS app, and then that second line is what's really important, that Percy snapshot command. What that will do is take a picture of the app in whatever state on whatever page you're on, um, and then that will send that up to Percy. Percy will run the, the diff on the two images and um, calculate if there's a test failure or not. And then you just end the test. So you could do any number of sort of actions in between if you wanted to navigate to different pages or um, you know, just click some buttons or whatever it is. And then you can call Percy Snapshot and it will take a picture of the app in whatever state you're in. Percy also has a really nice GitHub integration, um, so it goes right into your GitHub status checks. So this can save a ton of time from the pull request authors when they have to usually load up the apps and take a bunch of screenshots, put them in the pull request description, um, and then the reviewers have to trust that they've captured all of the changes. Uh, now you can basically skip all of that and just click into the Percy run to see exactly what's changed and exactly what's added. Yeah, so this all sounds great, um, but I do want to come back to the fact that this is a pretty new library. It was just released a couple weeks ago, um, and the version number 0.1.2 should tell you that it's pretty fresh. Uh, so there's definitely still some things to work out and some rough edges to smooth. Um, specifically, the things that the team will work on next is making it easier to set up. Um, right now, because of the Appium dependency, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, so we're looking to add better documentation and also just make that a little bit more seamless of an experience. And then furthermore, minimizing false negatives. Uh, on the web, Percy does a lot of things to prevent test failures that shouldn't really be test failures. For example, like with animations or with pausing GIFs, um, stuff like that. And so just need to think about how we can apply those to the native world also. And the most exciting thing coming up next is a potential React Native, Percy, and Storybook integration. Um, Storybook's come up a few times today already, but it's a component library where you can look at all of your individual React Native components and how they exist as a unit. Um, and so if Percy integrates with Storybook, then you can really achieve very unit test level um, testing of your individual components rather than the more integration testing style of whole screens. Um, so that's really great too. 
Okay, so here's some relevant links. If you're interested at all in getting started, um, definitely reach out to anyone at Haven or Percy too. We'd be happy to help you get up and started with it. Um, and thank you. Yeah, so again, uh, I'm working with Haven and we're hiring, so let us know if you're interested. <laughs>